Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode two in my spring cleaning series where we are going throughout my entire house and deep cleaning from top to bottom. Today, we are going to be focusing mostly on our living room. However, there are a few other areas in the house that I really want to give a little extra love to, so we're gonna be doing that as well. As usual, I do have a list that I'm going to be showing you in just a minute that kind of goes over specifically what we are going to be doing today. And then I also wanted to remind you guys that every single video in the spring cleaning series is going to have a giveaway in it. So I will be sharing a little bit more about that later on the video, but you guys know we have a lot to get done. So let's jump to it. I get the whole hand dirty. It's an injury to never breach, make a body sturdy. And if you're into that, turn it on like a thermostat. Hot mess, effortless, throw yourself with the heat as I. So I am starting off in my guest bedroom. I'm actually having a friend stay with us and I wanted to wash the bedding before she arrived. So I decided to add the guest room deep cleaning to my living room day. And if you missed my previous spring cleaning video where I kind of talked a little bit more in depth about my plan for spring cleaning this year and kind of how I'm going about doing it. Basically, I have made a list of all the different rooms in our home. And then within each list of the rooms, I'm going through and deciding what tasks I need to be done for each specific room. Then once I have that all figured out, then I'm actually going back through that list and kind of organizing them from top to bottom. And what I mean by top to bottom is literally like the light fixtures to the walls to the bedding or the couches or whatever it might be all the way down to the ground. And that way I know that I'm getting everything done. I'm also not dirtying things that I'm going to have to go back and clean later. And then another change that I made to my spring cleaning this year is instead of doing all of this in like one or two days and just making it insanely long days where I'm doing the kitchen and the living room and the bathrooms and my closet and kind of everything, I'm actually just focusing on one to two rooms a day and today is going to be our living room day and then also like I said I'm focusing on the guest bedroom a little bit as well and of course I am going to be sharing all of it so make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm going to be sharing for the spring cleaning series as well as upcoming makeovers and just all the things to share on my channel. <laughs> So while the bedding was being washed, I started in our living room since that was going to be my main focus of today. And nine out of 10 times, I will do a tidy before I start my deep cleaning. I feel like it helps me stay focused and it also helps me not feel so overwhelmed in a cluttered space. So that's kind of what I'm starting out with in here is just doing a quick tidy so that everything's nice and put together. And then I'm just following my spring cleaning list that I made on my iPhone, which is just on the reminders app, which I always get questions about. And that just helps me stay on task and also not forget Get anything and if you have any spring cleaning tips comment them down below I'm sure we can all benefit from reading them and just learning different things from each other
like I shared earlier in the video, I'm going to be including a giveaway in every single one of my spring cleaning episodes. This is just another opportunity for me to give back to you guys and then also just get a little excited about spring cleaning. So in today's giveaway, I'm going to be giving away a Bissell Steam Shot. I have been using this for years. If you guys have been a part of my channel for a long time, you guys have seen me use it countless times and I'm going to be using it on our windowsills a little bit later on in the video so you'll get to kind of see an up close and personal shot of it working. But all you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure that you are subscribed because this is a subscriber giveaway and then make sure that you're also leaving a comment on today's video and that will be your entry for this giveaway. And then I also wanted to let you know that once we are done with this series, I'm going to be compiling all these videos into one super long spring cleaning marathon video. And in that video, I'm going to be sharing a grand prize giveaway, which I think the prize for that is going to be all of the smaller giveaways that we are doing in each of the little episodes. So if you want to get entered into that one, then just make sure that you're leaving a comment on each of the episodes in the series and that's all you'll have to do to get entered into the grand prize giveaway. So good luck and as always I will have all that information down below in the description box. So as you're beginning your spring cleaning process for 2022, or if you're already in the middle of it, do your best to not get overwhelmed. And the best way that I found to kind of stay on top of spring cleaning without letting it kind of run my mind and just stress me out is actually making a list kind of like I talked about earlier and then organizing it from top to bottom, like the top of the room all the way down to the floors and then just follow it. I feel like as long as I have a detailed list to follow, I can just follow it and zone out. So you can put on a podcast, music, audiobook, listen to a YouTube video, and just let yourself totally zone out as you make your way through the list. La, la, let, la, la, let me be free. So you'll have to let me know if you chop your pillows or not. Liam was asking me the other day why I chop them and I told him that to me it makes the pillow look a little bit more fluffy and more comfy. So when we were doing our family cleanup one night, I looked over and saw him chopping the pillows so intensely. It just made me crack up mostly because of how intensely he was chopping the pillows but it also is just so neat to see how much kids really do watch you and just doing so many of the things that you do. All right, we have the couches all tackled. I do want to condition the leather. This is our first time having like leather couches. So if you guys have any information on that, I really don't want to ruin them or anything. So let me know if you have anything that you've tried and it works. But for now, we're just going to call the couches good. I do want to pull all the furniture out of the living room because I really want to get a good, good, good solid deep clean on the rug. So I'm going to go ahead and slow vacuum everything. And then once we have everything pulled out, I'll probably go ahead and tackle the windows before I move the furniture back in and then I also really want to carpet clean these little armchairs because they are like a really light color and so they show a lot. We love them but they need some love. Do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? In the shot?
I feel like our furniture has been out of place so much this year between getting all the new lighting put in, moving it all around to get the house painted, and now finally we are spring cleaning and it's just been one thing after the other for us, it feels. I have to say between all those different reasons, it has been so worth it to be moving our furniture in and out of where they're actually belonging, but I am so happy that this should be the very last time for quite a while that we have to actually move our furniture. But anyway, here I'm just starting off with a normal vacuuming and then I'm going to start slow vacuuming. So if you've been here for a while, again, you've heard me talk about this countless times, but I love to slow vacuum our carpets, not just around spring cleaning but really I like to do it about every two maybe every three weeks it just kind of depends on how our schedule is but all you do to slow vacuum is just go ahead and vacuum your floors as usual and then I like to empty out the canister and then you go back through and you literally just vacuum your floors super slowly now doing this will typically take me about five to ten minutes just to vacuum one smaller room so it does take a little bit of time but you will be amazed once you do it the first time I feel like you'll just be hooked because you'll see all the extra stuff that's getting pulled up from your carpet that normally just would have been missed and I feel like it just gives your carpet new life it makes it feel so much more fluffy and so 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 much cleaner Do you feel like hanging from a cross? Do you feel your paradise is lost? When you're lying wide awake, counting every mistake, do you hate what you become? So in our house here in Arizona, we have these wooden shutters and I actually really like them. There are a few things that I don't love. I do feel like they block a decent amount of daylight, which you guys know we're always wanting a little bit more daylight in our house. So I kind of don't love that aspect, but I do feel like they look really nice and they are definitely so much easier to clean. As you can see, I'm just able to kind of pull them away from the windows and then flip them inside and outside and dust all over them with my reusable duster. And that just makes cleaning them really easy easy now if they were very very dirty like very caked on dirt I would actually go through with a bowl of warm water along with a cleaning concentrate and then just actually wipe them down the same way that I'm doing with the dry duster but with a wet cloth and that will clean them really well but I didn't really feel like I needed to do that this time because I did do that when we first moved in and they just have not gotten like caked on or anything so the dry duster was all I really needed for that Flag upon the door With heaven's mansion out of reach From your knees you drink defeat Will you fall down on your sword? Okay, so this is the Bissell Steam Shot, the one that I'm going to be giving away to you guys in this giveaway. So what I'm going to be using this for is to clean out all of the little window sills and those window crevices. So first things first, I am going to vacuum out with my attachment, just get any of the dry bits out. And then I'm gonna go through with my Bissell Steam Shot and actually just melt away all of the mess and caked on dirt and dust and grime and all the stuff. 
And then once I get everything all loosened up like this, then I'm going to go through with a dry cloth and just wipe it all down and make sure I get all of that residual water taken out and then all of the dirt and dust kind of pulled out of there. Everybody needs a little bit of sunshine A torch to light and carry through the dark night My story's the same as yours, different details in between Lost my faith, once was blind, then I saw the light Now that we have the blinds and the window sills all cleaned, to clean the windows themselves, I am just of course using my e-cloth general purpose cloth with water and then I'm following up with my e-cloth window mitt. Now you could also use the glass and polishing cloth from e-cloth, but the window mitt is a little bit more handy for bigger projects because it is a bit thicker so it doesn't get as saturated as quickly and of course it is a mitt so you're not having to hold onto the cloth or anything, it just kind of does all the work for you. And this will be incredible for you if you have not jumped on the e-cloth bandwagon yet they are so good especially with windows and mirrors and all of those shiny surfaces they will get your surfaces streak free using only water Once I got the inside of the windows all taken care of, I wanted to go through on the outside and do the same thing out here. Just make sure that I was getting the glass clean on both sides. And I did want to let you guys know I am going to be sharing a back patio revamp and we're also going to be decorating on our front porch for spring and also doing some spring cleaning outside. So that video will be coming out very, very soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. I love how everything ends up turning out out here. I'm still in the process of editing that one, but it will either be out this week or next week. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely stay tuned for that one.
as a flame From foolish to wise We all bruise the same So this other side was even more caked on than the left side and I got it as good as I could but I may have to come back a little bit later when I have a little bit more time and just get even more detailed in my cleaning. But I did also want to get your guys' opinions. You guys know we painted all of our interior doors black and we have actually been thinking about painting the frames on our sliding glass doors black as well. My questions are one, if you think that it would look good and two, if you have sliding glass doors and you have painted the frames as well, let me know if they have held up for you. That's probably my biggest concern is that we would paint them black and then they would get scratched and scraped and the paint would not hold up. So if you have any thoughts on either of those, let me know in the comments. We are making lots and lots of progress. I have all the windows and all those disgusting rails and window wells and everything tackled. Now we are going to start moving all the couches back and then I am going to tackle the armchairs. I want to carpet clean those with our little green mean machine or the little green machine or something. I don't know. Anyway, we have a little carpet cleaner that I'm going to go ahead and work on those. But first we kind of need to get some space. So I'm going to start by moving back the furniture. So if your couches or fabric chairs have zippers to remove the fabric from the cushions, obviously tossing them in the washing machine cleans them the best. But if you're like me and the cushions don't remove, carpet cleaning them with your attachments does work really well too. So I'm just using my little green machine and the hose attachment. I love this little carpet cleaner because it's so compact and perfect for spot cleaning as well as furniture cleaning. Now it doesn't have the option to do a full clean on your carpets, like a big push one, which is fine with us because we don't have a lot of carpets in this house, but it's just something to keep in mind if you are thinking about getting this one and you're looking for one that you can kind of go throughout your entire house and do all of your carpets, this is not gonna be the one for that, but this is perfect for spot cleaning and furniture, like I said. And as usual, I will have all of my cleaning items that I can link down below, and then also a lot of them are from Amazon, so I will have them saved in my Amazon favorites as well. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you all.
I just have to say I love our couches up against our newly painted built-ins. It just looks so earthy and inviting. And if you're kind of new to my channel or you didn't get to see my spring clean and decorate video, that's the video that I gave a really good look at our new paint in our house. And in the beginning of that video, you can also see how everything was looking before we got it painted. So you can just see like the full before and after. But I love how everything has turned out with the paint. I feel like it just totally changed our whole house and like the feeling and vibe of it. We are almost completely done <laughs> with my list today. Let's see, I pretty much just have like the guest bedroom behind me and the guest bathroom. I want to go ahead and deep clean in the guest bathroom. Also, I need to bring the bedding back onto the bed and then I do want to slow vacuum this rug. And I think that's it, but it is feeling so much fresher in here already. I'm here to ask for your opinion again, but what do you think we should do for this bathroom as far as a makeover? I definitely want to paint the walls a light color. There is no natural light in this bathroom and we do only have the one sconce on the wall. And as you can see, the wall color is very dark and bold and we want something a lot more bright and fresh. So initially I'm thinking to paint the walls a light color and then possibly change the light fixture, maybe even paint the mirror frame or change the mirror altogether. But if you have any bathroom inspo ideas or pics, send them to me over on Instagram. I would love to get kind of your ideas and thoughts on this one because this is just a fun little bathroom. It's our little powder room and I would love to kind of see any ideas that you might have. Okay, the last thing on my list is to finish putting the clean bedding on the guest bedroom bed. I shared in my last spring cleaning video that I don't have to clean my baseboards because we got all the new paint and we got all the baseboards painted as well. So that is definitely a blessing because I hate cleaning baseboards. I do have some tricks for that that I've shared in previous spring cleaning videos, but I'm so happy that I don't have to do that today. But anyway, I did also want to mention that if you did not see my guest bedroom makeover, we shared that a few weeks ago. Maybe it's been even a month ago now. I'm not really sure, but it was kind of recently and we totally transformed the space from just like a gathering space that everything landed in to a space that was so functional and so cozy and perfect for guests. So I will link that video down below for you guys. If you haven't seen that one, you can go ahead and check it out.
I hope you don't mind if I say that I love you. Cause there's so many ways that I want to carve out our names, board a last minute plane, just us two. We can chase the sun as it sets in the mountains, find luck like a bet in Greek fountains, or lay lazy in bed with your head on my chest. I so that is going to be everything for episode two in my spring cleaning series. I feel like we got a lot done today. We got a lot of little details worked out, a lot of smaller spaces tackled, but I still kept it all really attainable. It didn't feel overwhelming at all to get all of this done. And I hope that it feels the same for you guys. I hope this gave you lots of cleaning motivation. I hope it gave you some insight and some tips and seeing some new cleaning products to use in your own home. And also just a quick reminder to go ahead and get entered into that giveaway. Again, all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed and comment on this video and that is all you have to do to be entered to win that Bissell steam shot. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys!